I'm Jim Ingram. I have been involved in this church since we moved here in the early 80s. Uh, we actually joined in 1982. It has been a wonderful experience of kind, loving people who show love to the community and they show love to each other. Um, my involvement in the church has been uh, first as a deacon, then as an elder, but the thing that has been most memorable to me too is it was my involvement with Boy Scouts. Now, Boy Scouting has been in the United States since 1910. That's 112 years. Boy Scouts have been sponsored in this church for the past 83 years. That's pretty significant involvement. The Boy Scouting has produced through this church, 100 Eagle Scouts. That's pretty, pretty amazing to me. And Boy Scouting is an unforgettable journey. It's full of adventure, which through challenge and help, where it is needed, leads to personal development, physical development, new skills, sound ideals, character confidence, a better feeling of self-worth and belonging, shared accomplishments, friendships, and incomparable memories. The scouts currently are in a building on this church that has, was built in 1943. The tradition has it it was built for servicemen returning from World War II, but we know it was also used by the Berean uh, Sunday school class. The uh, scout hut... Um, has been moved from a, uh, various locations, but the boys have loved it all of these years, even before it was renovated in 1999. That Scott Hut was um, renovated in 1999 uh, with a generous donation from this church. And we should be very proud of all these boys, most now grown men, of all of our scouts and leaders and the heritage of scouting in this church, scouting has been a very successful and tremendous adventure service by this church in our community and its youth. I also uh, have had the opportunity to chair the uh, revival that we had in this church about 10 years ago. It was an outdoor revival. Uh, it was very meaningful. We had it around a campfire. I have also been involved in the Sunday school program all of these years. Um, currently, uh, the class that we're most involved in, it's very meaningful to me, is the Harmony class that is now joined with the Friendship class. And that is those things that I remember, I remember most about this church. I'd like to emphasize again the uh, loving kindness of this church, uh, both each other and the community. They've been very involved in community activities, uh, um, Habitat for Humanity. I don't know exactly how many buildings we built and funded, but it probably was houses. It probably was three, four, maybe six, where church members all got together with the materials that were provided by the church to build these houses. Let me talk again about scouts, scouting. Um, scouting in this church in recent years, and maybe in past that, has been an ecumenical effort. That is to say, uh, this troop, Troop 86, was formed in 1986, as was the Cub Scout Pack. Um, the first cub master was myself, and my assistant cub master was Mr. Chuck Feeney. We moved the troop, we moved the pack to Holy Comforter, we moved the troop to um, First Presbyterian Church. In scouting, in a cub scouting, they have a figure called Aquila. Aquila is supposed to be the, uh, the leader every 
boy should have an Aquila and a leader. But in Cub Scouting, our Aquila was Mr. Chuck Feeney because he was the one that could put on the, the headdress and I was the straight guy who kept things going. So that was a wonderful, memorable experience. The ecumenical effort, I really can't emphasize more how we have had boys from all over uh, the city in our troop from many different churches. Uh, we've never recruited boys for the Scub, Cub Scout or the Scout Pack, Scout Troop, because uh, we wanted boys to bring boys that were their friends. The leadership has been many more times has occurred from churches other than our own. But always there has been an emphasis on spiritual development that's occurring really behind the scenes in leadership. Uh, never have we really um, forced that on any of the boys. Scouting has a God and Country medal, but there are different God and Country medicals, medals for different denominations. I can name 10 scout masters of this troop since 1986. Uh, Steve Wilson, not all from this church, Steve, Lieutenant Colonel Steve Wilson, Dr. Jim Ingram, this is in order, um, Billy Barano was, was Baptist, Robbie King who was Baptist, Bill Miller, Daly Ward, Dean Booth, Steve Hermanson, who went to Harmony, Harmony Church, and Gus Bloom. In these um, 14, was it 36 years, there have been at least, at least 10, 10 scoutmasters. <laughs>